Welcome back to Half Moon's Picks, and week 17 is in the books, and we are now into the wild card weekend. The playoffs, the season is over. Now to look forward into the playoffs. Last week, I did one and three on my video picks, one and two on my under and overs on Twitter, and I did hit my teaser yet once again, make you some money there. But this was one of those unusual weeks where I did bad on my video picks, but did good overall. That never happens, but yet it's happened twice this season. Kind of weird. Let me move on from that. And with the comment of the week, it's Daniel Hessen again. I think I mentioned him two or three times this season. I think you are one of the best prognosticators and you have helped me a lot with my suicide pull, but come on, man, what were you thinking for week 17? Well, let, let me tell you, you know, I, I, I get this guy. It's probably why I pick him all the time, you know. You know, I, 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 I'll watch other people's videos, uh, especially like, you know, puck time, uh, wager talk, things like that. Uh, college uh, hoops or college, uh, um, you know, football. Uh, and I, I even had a, a bad discussion with the guy um, in my uh, league, and I won't mention any names, but he was doing so bad, I was winning a ton of money with this, you know, how bad he was. I mean, he, I think the last uh, few weeks he went 4 and 12, and, and I was just betting against him. He was just getting so bad, and he got mad, and I said, hey, you know, either way, it's about making money, you know, so... If you're picking my picks directly and you're losing, you know, I get it. I totally get it. Uh, but this week, again, another week. Uh, uh, so I, there's 16 games. I'll give you an example. What happened last week? There's 16 games. I give you all my leads and my best picks. My best picks, yeah, went one and three. But my leans went 11 and one. And so overall, I went 12 and four, you know, on all my picks combined. Kind of strange, I know. Uh, again, same with my under and overs. I know I don't give out all my under and overs. I just pick out the best ones. And just looking back on my paper, I went unders and overs. I went 11 and 5. And, of course, you know, of those five, two of them I gave out on Twitter. Yeah, it's just bad selection of my top picks. That's all that was. I, I, just, I can't explain it even more, but... That's the way it went. And, and I totally understand, you know, if you just went off my best selection, yeah, I get it. Some people just come here for my teaser. I'm doing great at my teaser. So overall, my stats for the full year, you know, my video selections, uh, I, I'm 48.2% overall. Uh, and my Twitter, I went 54.9%, uh, which is, that's a winning on my Twitter uh, under and overs. Uh, both combined, I'm at 51%. You know, if you just did my best selection and my Twitter for the whole year, 51. That's more of a break-even kind of, sort of. Uh, but my teasers, you know, my three-team teasers, I give you every week, I went 10 and 7, which is uh, 59%. That's another winner with that as well. Yeah, I try to do the best I can. You know, I've, I've been I've having a pretty good season. Just some weeks better than others, you know. Last week, I did win. I already said I bet in half units on... Week 17, uh, you know, I could have won so much more, but. In this video, what I'm gonna do is just go give you all my under and overs and give you all my picks for the, the playoffs and beyond. There's no more simply Twitter picks, um, and we'll just save those for next season. I'm gonna get up my video percentage um, and try to get over 50%. Like I said, I'm at 48.2. So let's get on with the picks. And my fourth pick of the week, which is the first game of the weekend, we got Buffalo traveling to Houston. Houston is a three-point favorite, and the under over is 42 and a half. Uh, Buffalo has lost the last three matches in Houston. Even the last match last year where they lost 20 to 13. Buffalo has the last place offense in the wild card weekend at 23, but they have a good road record at six and two and six and one and one ATS five. Houston with an average offense and defense. Their offense is ranked 14th and their defense is ranked 19th. Uh, both teams are 10 and six. It seems like Buffalo is just a little bit healthier on the roster, but they're dropping like flies last week, week 17. So they might just, you know, 
even now there's uh, Texas, you know, bringing J.J. Watt back. So there might be even, I think, on the roster. But I'm going with Houston minus three on this one as I'm getting the home team the better experience in the playoffs. Uh, Houston has a better offense with a under 42 and a half as the last three times in Houston. They totaled 33, 40, and 30 selectively. So give me Houston minus three with the under 42 and a half. And my third pick of the week, we got Tennessee Titans Travelers to the New England Patriots. New England Patriots are right, a four and a half point home favorite. Uh, Tennessee's lost the last six matches in New England, Boston you should say. Tennessee has a 10th ranked offense with the 12th ranked defense. Uh, New England has the 7th ranked offense with the number one ranked defense. They are the number one defense in the NFL. New England is 6-2 and two at home and they have a better record. 12-4 uh, versus a 9-7 and seven record. But I'm going with New England minus 4.5 uh, because I got the home team. I got the experience in the playoffs, the better coat. I got the better history of the team. And I got the better offense and the better defense. Four and a half, kind of low. Uh, and I'm also going with the over 43 and a half. As the last four times these teams met, the total 44, 49, 49 again, and 47. All over the 43 and a half. So give me New England minus four and a half and the over 43 and a half. And my number two pick of the week, we got the Minnesota Vikings traveling to the New Orleans Saints. The Minnesota Vikings are a eight point road dog. Minnesota has lost the last three matches in New Orleans. Minnesota has the eighth ranked offense with the fifth ranked defense. Uh, New Orleans is the third ranked offense with the 13th ranked defense. Pretty good matchup here, pretty even. Minnesota's four and four on the road, four and four ATS as the Saints are 6-2 and two at home with the 4-4 four and four ATS. Pretty even there, 4-4 four and four ATS both sides of the ball. Well, New Orleans has a better record of 13-3 and three as the Minnesota Vikings are 10-6. and six. I'm going with the Minnesota Vikings with that 8 points. I like New Orleans to win this game, but I think it's going to be close. And let me tell you why. Because the New Orleans Saints have played four playoff teams this season. Uh, they beat the Seahawks by 6. That's not eight. They beat the Houston Texans by two. That's not eight. They lost to the San Francisco 49ers by two. That's not eight. And then, but they did recently beat the Tennessee Titans by 10. So they barely nudged past that eight four times. 75% chance. That's the way I'm looking at it. I'm giving the Minnesota Vikings minus the eight. And I'm also liking the over 49. Uh, the last three meetings they played, the total went to 50, 53, and 48. So two of those three times uh, they went over. The last two meetings did go over. So give me Minnesota plus eight and the over 49. And my number one pick of the weekend, the last game of the weekend, we got the Seattle Seahawks traveling to the Philadelphia Eagles. Seattle Seahawks are a two-point road favorite. And I was going up and down on this one. You know, these teams pretty much match up. Seattle has won the last five meetings between the two teams and have won the last five meetings in Philadelphia. Russell Wilson is 4-0 against Philadelphia all-time. Has never lost to Philadelphia at all. Seattle has a 7-1 road record. And 5-2-1 and two and one ATS on the road as well. Probably one of the best road records in the NFL. Uh, both these teams are kind of beat up, you know, so I can't really say one has a better roster than the other. Of these two teams, Seattle has a better record. They are 11-5 compared to the Philadelphia Eagles. They are 9-7. But I'm taking Seattle because they have the better quarterback the better road record, and a better history. I like the under 46. The last four meetings had a total of 26, 34, 41, and 38. So give me Seattle minus two and the under 46. Well, that concludes my wild card weekend. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where is the teaser? That's right, the three-team teaser is coming up. So I don't play too many teasers in the playoffs, but you know, this one here, I'll probably lay down. So 
I got New England in the money line. I got Minnesota plus 15. And I'm taking Minnesota and New Orleans over 41 and a half. So that looks like a great three-team teaser. Like I said, I'm 59% on the year on three-team teasers. So this one looks like it'll cash pretty easily. So let's go out there, make a lot of money. And don't forget to check out my prognosticator buddies in the links below. I can't tell you how much it means to us. We also have a Facebook page. Check that out. We have pools every year. Get yourself ready for next year as we do fantasy football. And guess what? This is my sixth year, I think, fantasy football, and I think second to the last is the best I've done. I stink at fantasy football, but, you know, I put into it every year in hopes, you know, maybe I'll win some of that money back, but I don't, you know, but it's for fun, and we have a great time. So, check it out, check us out, and I will see you next week. Peace. You enjoy placing a few bucks on your favorite team? Maybe try your hand at cards or on the slot. Use me as a reference and head over to my Twitter and click on the link below and receive a new member bonus and help support this channel. Bovada. Just better.